What's going on, everybody? I'm John Opinion Sports. Sorry, the last couple days I've been missing. Life gets busy sometimes. But today, we're going to talk about some cornerbacks that Giants could target in free agency. Now, right now, I'm about 95% sure that James Bradbury will be cut or traded for cap relief. Now, the guys I'm going to talk about are a one-year holdover. The Giants very well could draft a corner early in the draft. So, I'm not talking about building the team through free agency here. You know, we have nine picks and much more holes than that. This is just to fill out the roster for this season. I'm not really wanting to sign any cornerback for multiple seasons or big money. So I'm looking at guys we can bring in cheap, you know, one year deal and that's that. Now I do like Rodarius Williams, but I don't want to count on him just progressing. Now this is a whole new scheme from last year and he missed the entire year. I think he's a decent man corner, but I like to get a more established cornerback in here to compete. One last thing. I keep having people in the comments say that all these guys are too expensive. I don't think so. I mean, some of them obviously might get signed early in the draft and get more money. There's only so much cap space in the NFL. And like, if you sit back and stay patient, you can get guys for way less than the market would dictate. So any one of these guys are holding out on six, seven, eight million, then I don't want to sign them. Move on. You know, they can pound sand, but facts are facts. And some of these guys projected to get eight, nine, 10 million will hold out too long and will be forced to sign for three, four million. You know, it happens to a handful of guys every season. So with all this said, let's get this started. Now, the first cornerback that I thought about a little bit is Bryce Callahan, who played in Denver last season. Now, if you've never seen his game, he's a slot corner pretty much exclusively. I think 2020 he played on the outside a little bit and did it okay. So if the Giants sign him, that probably means Aaron Robinson will be lining up outside next season. So I view this as a probably a less likely uh, move. But after seeing Robinson play competent last season on the outside as well, I could see the Giants maybe trying it out for a year. Now, Bryce Callahan has been a solid slot corner. There's really no red flags with him other than just the injuries. He grades out in the 96th percentile in the slot. He's as good as it really gets in there. So I like Darnay Holmes. I think he's a decent player, but with the way offenses are passing nowadays, I want excellent on the inside. The last three years, he's had injuries. I think he just hit 30, so maybe that's a deal breaker to Joe Shane. I think you can sign Callahan for that four or five million dollar range. No one has given him more than one year deal, you know, without seeing him stay healthy for at least an entire season. This may not be likely, but I thought that it was just worth bringing you guys because he's an awesome player, you know, at his position and the price is right. You know, the next guy could be the cheapest option for a guy that I think could fit a wink system. You know, I'm talking about Robert Alford. He played in Arizona last season. Most of you guys probably remember him in Atlanta, but listen. I think Alford is a really good all-around cornerback. You know, he's not a number one cornerback. Like, team's been using him that way, but he really isn't. But I think he could be a very solid number two. You know, he has experience in all types of defenses. He's been in heavy man schemes, cover three schemes like Patrick Graham. And he's performed in both of them. So, he may be a tad better in zone. But I, I honestly, I just, I trust him for one season, you know, in wing scheme. And for the first time in his career, he wouldn't be going against opposing number one wide receivers, so he'd probably look a lot better than what he has. Now, he's aged a bit at this point. He's 33 years old. But last season, he had a coverage rate of 68.5. That's the second highest of his career, so he's still playing at a high level. What offered on the team, you can keep Aaron Robinson in the slot where he probably is better at this point. Unfortunately, Offord has had injuries as well. But, I mean, that's just the way the NFL is nowadays. Everyone is hurt. It's insane. But I think you can sign him in the same range as Callahan, that 4 or $5 million. I would love that deal for him and the Giants. And, obviously, with his age, you're only giving him a one-year deal. Now, the next guy, this is a wild card. You guys will all know this guy. Yes, I'm going to throw out Patrick Peterson's name. Now, uh, listen, he's lost a step, but he's still a damn good corner. And if Peterson doesn't make the move to safety, I'd be very interested to see what he's got left. Now, I still think he can play a man on the outside. He's one of the smarter cornerbacks in the league. This man knows his how routes work off each other. You know, he's going to be where he's supposed to be. And obviously, he's just going to bring it in the run game. You know, he's one of the better run defending cornerbacks in the NFL. Because of that reason... I could see teams trying to sign him as a safety. I still think Peterson could be a solid number two cornerback, but this is definitely a wild card. You know, I'm wondering what you guys think a one-year deal for Patrick Peterson. You guys feeling it? Let me know in the comments. 
I think you could sign him cheap. You could probably get him four or five million, just like the other guys. At this point, that probably just snags him off the market, I would imagine. The last guy I want to talk about is Akello Witherspoon. My wife is a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so I've seen how talented this guy really is. If he can stay healthy, he may turn into a premier cornerback. The last two seasons, he's posted 78.8 and 80.9 coverage grades. This is a tall, big kid that can move. And I like all his, I just like him in any kind of coverage. I think he can play whatever you need him to. No, I'd love to have him on the Giants. And if he stays healthy, you might see really not any kind of drop off from where Bradbury has been playing this last year. I think you can actually get him a little bit cheaper than some of the some of these other guys. Maybe you get him for three, four million a year. There were a few others that I think would work out here as well. Sidney Jones and the Seahawks. I think that would be an excellent fit. He's great in man coverage. He's one of the highest forced and completion rates in the NFL the last few years. You could sign him cheap, but you don't run into injuries again. So many talented corners on the market this year that will go cheap because they can't stay healthy. Another guy is Jason Barrett. You know, he's a borderline Pro Bowl player when he's out there on his field, but it tore his ACL again last season. Maybe the Giants sign one of these guys and roll the dice. You know, them two first round picks will say a lot though. Do they value cornerback more or edge more? You know, it's probably gonna be one or the other with the seventh or 76th pick. Time will tell, but I hope you all enjoyed the cornerbacks I chose. It really sucks that there's that injury asterisk you know, next to all of them, but I guess if there wasn't, they'd kind of be way out of the Giants price range anyways, so it is what it is. I just want to thank you all though for the support. You've all been awesome to the channel. Believe me, I appreciate it. I'm going to start getting back in a swing and getting out a video or two every day. If you guys have any ideas for videos, let me know in a comment. I got one yesterday. Maybe I'll start working on a video about the coaches just as a whole and how I feel about them. Anything Giants, I'm down. <laughs> so like, subscribe, and peace.